yo 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 my beautiful people and welcome back to another video. Today's artwork will be based on a poem called Lonely by Edgar Allan Poe. It's something a little different so sit back, relax and let's get straight into this. So as always I like to start with the background first in this case I'll throw in a dark blue gradient I find some nice flooring being a desert cracked kind of ground because everyone needs to kind of sit and stand on something and I'll throw in some nice fluffy clouds these were sourced from DeviantArt and I will credit the maker in the description below so look out for that so this is where I'm trying to match the ground and the clouds by using color balance and this is where I'm distorting the perspective suit the angle you're viewing it from so here I'm adding in curves and lightening the center of the ground because this is where I want people's eyes going and design is all about leading people's eyes and I didn't think there was enough cracks in the ground so I added my own crack obviously digital crack not the stuff you uh anyway moving on and I blend it in with blend if which is the classic I clean up the crack and this is where my centerpiece the flower will be growing from I didn't think the current cracks were good enough you know how to supply my own right so so this is where I throw in the subject Annie Annie from the poem which you will hear recited shortly not recited by me of course it will be recited by someone but you'll hear it anyway so I didn't think her dress suited what she was doing it kind of looks like she's scared of whatever is on the ground and I don't know when her being scared from the flower I want her to embrace the flower so I extended the skirt played digital wardrobe and blended it in as much as I could so at the moment she obviously doesn't look like she's she belongs in that environment I mean kind of she does a bit fluky but not 100% so I need to adjust the lighting to match the surrounding ambient lighting so it all looks cohesive and I throw in a big ass head no that isn't me it does kind of look like me but this is the giant looking down on her I throw in some contact shadows so it looks like she's actually in the scene and where I love my glows, I add a nice pinky red glow to the flower. And this is like the main subject where everybody is focused on, where we will be focused on as an audience. And I throw in a little bush, but soon the poem will start. So sit back and enjoy. Thank heaven. The crisis, the danger is past, and the lingering illness is over at last, and the fever called living is conquered at last. Sadly, I know I am shorn of my strength, and no muscle I move as I lie at full length. But no matter, I feel I am better at length, and I rest so composedly now in my bed that any beholder might fancy me dead, might start at beholding me thinking me dead. The moaning and groaning, the sighing and sobbing, are quieted now with that horrible throbbing at heart. Ah, that horrible, horrible throbbing. The sickness, the nausea, the pitiless pain have ceased with the fever that maddened my brain, with the fever called living that burned in my brain. And oh, of all tortures, that torture the worst has abated the terrible torture of thirst for the naphthalene river of passion accursed. I have drank of a water that quenches all thirst, of a water that flows with a lullaby sound from a spring but a very few feet underground, from a cavern not very far down underground. And ah, let it never be foolishly said that my room it is gloomy and narrow my bed, for man never slept in a different bed. And to sleep, you must slumber in just such a bed. My tantalized spirit here blandly reposes, forgetting or never regretting its roses, its old agitations of myrtles and roses. For now, while so quietly lying, it fancies a holier odor about it of pansies, a rosemary odor commingled with pansies. 
with Rue and the beautiful Puritan pansies, and so it lies happily, bathing in many a dream of the truth and the beauty of Annie, drowned in a bath of the tresses of Annie. She tenderly kissed me, she fondly caressed, and then I fell gently to sleep on her breast, deeply to sleep from the heaven of her breast. When the light was extinguished, she covered me warm, and she prayed to the angels to keep me from harm, to the queen of the angels to shield me from harm. And I lie so composedly, now in my bed, knowing her love, that you fancy me dead. And I rest so contentedly, now in my bed, with her love at my breast, that you fancy me dead, that you shudder to look at me, thinking me dead. But my heart, it is brighter than all of the many stars in the sky, for it sparkles with Annie. It glows with the light of the love of my Annie, with the thought of the light of the eyes of my Annie. Well, there you have it, my representation of the poem Lonely. I added my little spin to it. Hope you guys enjoyed it and that kind of style, me creating artwork based on poems. So if there's more that you guys want to see, I might create some. If you like this content, then you know what to do. Watch my other videos, like, leave a comment, maybe subscribe. Until then, peace. <laughs>